Hello, my lovely friends. This is Tanya at Psychic Crafts coming to you today with a haul. <laughs> this is a combined haul. And I first of all want to say I hope you are all having a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. I am so sorry. I've been uh, MIA for about a week now. I became sick with the flu on Christmas night. I went to bed and woke up in the morning sick, sicker than I've been in years and years and years. And uh, today is the first day I've actually uh, not taken a nap. <laughs> Most of the days I've just slept it away. So I had to go get tested and make sure I didn't have COVID. Um, and I don't, I, I can't, had a negative COVID test, but a positive flu test. So um, I've just been in recovery and just resting and trying to do the best I can to get back on track. So um, I've missed you all so much. And I've been watching videos and trying to respond to, to as many as I can. Uh, some of them I've been watching on TV. You know, some of them I've just kind of let go, <laughs> left them on while I, while I slept the day away. Um, but um, responded to as many as I could. So if you haven't heard from me, please don't take it personally. Um, I, I love you all and I, I've missed you and um, anyways I wanted to make sure that that I get back on track um, I know that I spoke recently about possibly doing a Valentine's group swap there are so many going around right now that I've, I've, I've decided not to do that I think what I prefer to do is wait a little bit longer and do a um, 400 subby ch uh, challenge so I'm let me I'm gonna think about that a little bit bit more um, we're at 332 right now and um, I think we can get up to that 400 mark pretty soon I don't I don't don't dare to guess how long it'll take but um, I think that that we'll be able to get there fairly quickly so stay tuned for that 400 chow, that 400 subby challenge I'm gonna go ahead and do that instead I, I'd like to celebrate that and celebrate you as my YouTube family and give something back to you for following me and being so supportive in my journey. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You've made this year a wonderful year. And it's been so much fun getting to know so many of you amazing people out there, whether you're crafters or just uh, crafter supporters. I, I love that. So thank you for that and uh, being such a, a great, great community. So today I have um, a combined haul. I've got some from KS Crafts, which I'll show you. And I've got some from uh, Amazon and I've got some AliExpress. I think that's it. Oh, I also have some from, um, from Crafty Ruse Michelle Summer. Um, she sent me a, a, a friend mail. So super excited to share these with you. Um, the first one I'll show you is this, um, is this wonderful, this one's from KS Craft. I absolutely love this for Valentine's Day. And actually my next video, which I'm hoping to um, to go ahead and record after this one, I'm gonna show you a fun project I've had in mind with this and show you how to even do this without a die set. So if you don't have the dies, that's okay. I'm gonna show you how to make it without. Uh, we all know how great uh, dies, how professional and, and awesome that dies look but I also want to remind us that um, if you don't have them it, it's okay you know we make can still make beautiful crafts so this is what this one makes and you can see the stitching around there and I've glued all the little the little shaker bits on there this one actually comes with the shaker bits to cut out but I wanted to use my little my little bits so um, I'm gonna do a project with those and show you guys how to do that. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So this is one I got from KS Crafts from Amazon and I'll do my best to link what I can. Um, ooh, my ears are still ringing. Um, so that you can find these things as well. Um, next I got this cute bunny. This one is gonna be a, um, I haven't even opened this one. This is gonna be a, I believe this is a shaker too. And super excited because this one, I guess it's not a Memdex, but I think it would be super cute on a Memdex. No, it's not, but it is a shaker. Let's see. I'm gonna open it. 
You guys, my brain has been so turned off from this flu. I'm serious, I have not been this sick in so long. I had forgotten what being sick actually feels like. It's just that bad. So this is in two sets. So this is one set, one shaker set. You'll see I've got the shadow here and then it's got a hold for it so that you can put a, a string through it and hang it like an ornament kind of thing. Um, I'm not sure how these turn out, but it's not off to the edge. So I know it's not a, a Memdex, but you could put it on a, a, a Memdex strip from another um, die cut. It'd be perfect, it'd be so cute. And then this one is separate and it's got a little heart here too. So I think this is gonna be super cute. I can't wait to work with that for Easter. I tried to uh, stay focused on Valentine's Day and Easter in my purchases lately. These are, uh, guys, if I knew I was gonna be out sick for a week with the flu, I would not have purchased this stuff. <laughs> but mind you, these were ordered before Christmas. I had no clue I was gonna get sick because I have not worked in a week and that makes me nervous. So um, I am my only income. If I can't go to work, I can't shop. So I gotta pay my I gotta pay my bills. So I'm not um, purchasing anything right now. So these were all purchased a while ago. And I got this Memdex card. Um, little telephone. I guess this goes in the middle, and that's the little dialer thing. I'm curious about why these holes are so close together. If there's a different Memdex system that puts them that close, if anybody could tell me about that, let me know. Because I see a lot of them with the holes that close. Even does this one, yeah, even this one has them that close, and I've just never seen them that close before. So I'm curious about that. But cute, cute, cute. This one has stitching around it also. Just these are just very faint stitching. Um, but I think it's going to be adorable. Then I'll have to figure out some way to do a, a cord probably with fibers or yarn or something uh, for that. And then this one, this is one, I think I showed you guys this one. I think I got this one from Scrap Diva. I think I did. And it's got all these great pieces to it, all the different hearts that you can use. Don't have to make a Memdex card out of it, but you can. It can be a shaker or it doesn't have to be. This is its own piece or you can use it to, um, you know, decorate or embellish. Super, super cute. So that one's from Scrap Diva. And let's see here. I got this one. Get this one. I think I showed you guys this one too, maybe. No, I took it out and looked at it. This is, I think I got this off of Amazon, but ZF Party. I don't know if that's the name of the shop, but Little Gingerbread Man Shaker. I think I got it off Amazon. Look at his little face, his little eyes, his mouth. There's little eyelashes there. So this one's gonna be super cute too. Um, I'll be doing Christmas year round this year, so you'll be seeing some projects from me from time to time that are Christmas, and I'm very excited. My gingerbread, oh my goodness, my gingerbread video has gotten um, so many views. I want to make sure that I keep continue on with that trend. So I think I'm going to keep on the the gingy trend um, for the year because I love it so much. Um, I am missing some. So I did show you guys some, I think, because I got some more of these. I got three different sizes of this of this particular rosette, but I'm not sure where I put them right now. I've been starting to organize my dies and things, and um, so things are a little bit misplaced at the moment. I'm not quite sure where they are, and not to mention my fever has, uh, and I haven't been in my office for most of the week. This is the first time I've actually sat down in here to do anything, so um, I am kind of missing some things. Uh, but yeah. All right. And then these were gifted to me by my dear sister-in-law, Michelle from Crafty Ruse. And she got them. Oh, let me think if I can think what the name of her, the shop is. It's Emily at EP Crafts, I think, on Instagram. Um, she got these from her and Emily threw in an extra for me um, as a Merry Christmas gift, which I thought was super sweet. And it's interesting because I, actually these are not, oh, these are not 
but those are not Sizzix, but this one's Sizzix. And I have been wanting this one so bad. And Michelle knew that she found it um, with Emily. And so I'm very, very excited to have this one um, to make my cookie, my cookie uh, cutouts. So I'm gonna make a bunch of these for next year and put, just put them away and um, just have some fun with them. I just, I love, love, love the icing look. And baking is something that's very important in our family and cooking. So um, this one's very special to me. So thank you, Michelle, so much, so much for doing that. It was so sweet. And I'm so ex excited to use these. Um, she also sent this Merry Christmas, which is wonderful. I don't think I have this at all. Uh, I know I don't. It's beautiful. So thank you for that. So I can use the word joy in there or Merry Christmas. It's got the little swirl and extra flowers. Um, I think it's just going to be so much fun to use. And then she sent this one. I think this, this must be layered. Let's check this one out. I want to see how this works. So uh, there it looks like there's three dies here. Can I get it out without messing it up? I got three dies. Okay. So here's the back circle. And then how does it say? And then the trees. We'll go this way. We'll go this way. And then the deer will go in front of it. So it's a layered, it's a layered one. And you know. If I do this right, this can be a shaker too. That would be so cool. So, so cool. So I'll have to, I'll, um, yeah, this can be a shaker. It's going to be gorgeous. And you know, I've got a lot of hunters in my family and this would just make the perfect Christmas card for them or deer hunting card or <laughs> they would love it. So that is just beautiful. Um, yeah, thank you so much. It's gorgeous. I'm just so excited to use these and make some some really wonderful um, projects this year. I didn't have nearly enough time this year to make all the cards I wanted to. Uh, everything just snuck up on me so quick uh, between work and work and home and getting sick, and I wanted to do so much more. So I think it'll be fun. I'm totally putting this in upside down. I'm not sure I care. <laughs> I'll fix it next time I open it, I promise. <laughs> it's the flu speaking. Um, oops. I think that uh, if I'm making a card, you know, at least a what, Christmas card each week, um, that means I'll have, what, 52 by the end of this, by next Christmas? I should. And, um, you know, that would be a lot, really. That's more than I sent out this year, so that would be something. Um, so that would be a lot of fun. So that's gonna be kind of my goal is at least one Christmas card per week for the year. And I might get off to a two or three card start <laughs> each week for a few weeks, and I might have to phase out for a little while. <laughs> you never know. It's hard to think of Christmas in the middle of the summer. Of course, then we have uh, Christmas in July, don't we? All right, this one is gonna be fun too. This one is snowflakes. And this one actually has the uh, acetate and everything in here to make snowflake shakers. I love that. I absolutely love that. So it's actually made for that. This piece comes out so you can make little shaker bits. So this is gonna be really fun. I'll put that one away later. And then this one. And one of my friends gifted me one of these baubles for Christmas. And I thought it was that one, but maybe it was this one. I don't know. Or maybe it was from a different die set. Maybe because they cut it. It couldn't have been that one because that one's cut off. And it was perfect. It must have been like that one maybe. And I used it on a card. It was so pretty. So I'm looking forward to using that one too. So thank you again, Michelle, and thank you, Emily, for that. You're gorgeous. Um, really, really appreciate it. And I cannot wait. You guys will be getting cards too. So thank you again. Um, also, let's see what else I got. Now I got my Alex, 
some of my oh I got this one too I think this was from um I don't know if I showed you guys this I can't remember if I got this off of Amazon or from I don't remember like I said some of this stuff has been sitting here a minute I've just been out of it and I can't remember where I got it um this might have been from Amazon I'll have to look around at my Amazon account and see but super pretty I love that smell love that smell of new plastic why is that such a great smell to me you know I know why I can tell you why so every summer as a kid we we always had a swimming pool we were always around the water the lake the beach the swimming pool my dad had a pool built in our backyard when we were just kids we were always in that pool and we knew it was a great summer when it was time and mom and dad went and bought the um the 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 blow up raft there were four of us kids we were all within two years of each other uh, my I was the youngest and my brother was the oldest there were 23 months between us so my stepbrother stepsister fell in between so there were four of us within within 23 months of age together so it was it was quite a quite a crew and um we spent so much time in that pool and the smell of that plastic just it brings back some of those good times and at the lake and stuff uh, it was just so much fun um so we didn't have a lot of money but we got that pool put in and we didn't need it we were just in the backyard all the time they that's what we did and it was just a blast so um i smell that new plastic it's like oh good times <laughs> i'm not a plastic sniffer you guys it just it's just happy to me all right so i got some really cool stuff from uh, aliexpress moving on i don't sound like a weirdo i'm probably too late for that but um i got some rubber stamps first of all and some of these were about my you know fascination with uh, all things tim holtzish and some of these were inspired by like valentine's day like this one these are like inks from um like like ink bottles but i thought they might be cute as uh, makeup or perfume bottles even i know obviously this one's a, a writing quill and stuff but some of these could be it says mood tape fountain pink fountain pen ink but I thought they'd be fun to work with. Well, maybe love potions. I don't know. And then this one. Let me see if I can find a white paper I should be able to. Yeah, there we go. This one's pretty cool. It's got, I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's pretty hard to see, I know. But it's got a hot air balloon down here. It's got bicycles. And it's got um, kind of just some random old-fashioned. There's a train up here. Sorry, that didn't help you, did it? It just helped me see it better. Let me see if it's better on this side. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Maybe if I try this side. Look at the hot air balloon. And then it's got, it's kind of steampunkish. And then I don't know what all these symbols are, but look, the guys on the two wheel bicycles, the old fashioned ones, there's a lady's face. Um, looks like some scientific configurations. A typewriter, maybe? really really cool there's another bicycle more hot air balloons really neat so there's that one i got this one which one's easier to see this way look at this it's like old drawings of vehicles it's got the train it says carriage um between links or between lines i'm not sure what that says something locked 1840 there's a date on that one this old car um, I don't know what that one says this looks like some kind of a I don't know like a railroad car like a steam car locomotive car or something that we go I'm thinking of a the car kind of thing that goes on the on the train tracks this looks like the front of a locomotive maybe not sure what that one is either but really really cool stamp I'm thinking it'll be great for backgrounds to um, just add some dimension and some interest to background papers um, I that's what I got these all for oh this one is just gorgeous look at this look at this dragonfly isn't she beautiful 
Uh, I love her. Can't wait to use this one. I thought this would be also beautiful with um, some embossing powders, like some iridescent. Thought that would be fun. This one is Birds. It says Bird Waltz Harp or Piano Forte. And it's got music. It says Paris, Butterflies and Birds and Dragonflies. Love this one. Really, really fun. It's got music notes on it. There's some numbers. It's going to be a great, great background accent. Or just the front of the card. And then look at this lace. Look at this. Look at the honeycomb for the mesh behind it. I can't wait to stamp this one out. It's going to be gorgeous. Again, another great accent piece. Great for junk journaling or anything. <laughs> And then this one is a lace also. I think, let's see which is the best way. This is the best way to show it. I'm anxious to see this one stamped out because I don't think it's printed on the, on the, on the cover of it exactly. I think it's missing parts because I see a lot of decoration or bumps and stuff down here, but I'm not seeing ink on top. So I can't wait to see this one stamped out. It's gonna be really pretty, I'm sure but excited to use that. So those are the stamps I got. And then, just a little bit more. Got some fun things. And I have, um, I think I have, I don't think this is all of my AliExpress order. I think I have a few more things coming. I just don't remember what. And then I have some, a bunch of things in my cart because I've been sick. And, you know, it's fun to shop when you're sick and bored. And But... I've missed work for a week, so I can't go shopping right now. <laughs> I'm trying to be responsible. All right, so I've got cupcakes. Look at these darling cupcakes. And the turquoise. I'm thinking for Valentine's Day, these are gonna be fun. Sweet treats and Valentine's. Little turquoise cupcakes. Yes, ma'am. And of course, I got pink ones. Because if you get pink, you gotta get blue, you gotta get blue, you gotta get pink. So there's some pink ones to go with them. And then I got these cuties. I think I ordered these twice, you guys, on accident because I fell in love with them. And then I think I ordered them a second time. I think my next shipment's gonna have these in them too. <laughs> Look at the little carrots for Easter. They cute. I love them. I think these were like 87 cents when I got them. And there's two, four, six, eight, ten of them. So super cute little carrots. And then these were supposed to, I was hoping these would make it by Christmas, but they didn't. So I'm going to probably make something for the kids with these because, you know. And actually for Valentine's Day, they'll be perfect because that center control button is a heart. So these will be great for that. Aren't they cute? I think so. And they're a nice thickness. So some of them are painted a little better than others, but that's okay. Super cute. So that's it for my haul for today, or my hauls, my combined hauls. I've been, um, like I said, this is the first time I've gotten into the craft room. Oh, no, 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 I've got some more. Um, this week, so I've been trying to find and put things away where they need to go. Um, I did get a drawer system with closing boxes, and I'm putting some of my 12 by 12s in there and filing away my Christmas paper separately and my fall paper separately, and then putting a box with my Christmas ephemera and stickers and that stuff um, with that Christmas box and then this, doing the same for the fall. So I have those kind of packaged together. So I don't have to go through all my papers all year long to find what I'm looking for. And um, that way my Christmas and my fall stuff don't get damaged and I can find them easily when I need to do a project. So I'm kind of excited because I'm starting to get some stuff organized a little bit better that's gonna make more sense for me and get some of the extra packaging out of here and extra tubs and buckets and and things that maybe I don't need so much of and if I categorize them together so I also got look at these 
beautiful strawberries. You guys, if you saw the new Maggie Holmes collection over, um, what is it, Market Square, I think these would be beautiful with it. And if not, if not the pink ones, I got the red ones too. So you know I have the Maggie Holmes paper in my basket, but I have not pulled the trigger yet because I've been out of work for a week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to get it though. Um, I'll be making sure I get it as soon as I can because it's just beautiful. I can't wait to work with it. The colors are so different and um, I like that it's not it's not as um, cutesy as the previous ones or some of the previous ones. I, I like the colors a little bit better. Um, I don't know. So I'm looking forward to using that. And I love that it had strawberries in there and horses and other animals, peaches. But I didn't like the peach charms because they looked like butts. So I got strawberries. <laughs> and for Easter, of course, I got some little bunnies. And these are like little porcelain bunnies, little ceramic bunnies. And the hole goes through this way, through the bottom to the top. So I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna use these yet, but I know they're gonna be darling. Aren't they cute? I think they're fun. So I've got a few of those. And then last but not least, certainly not least, because these things are adorable. And I don't even know why I got them, except that they're cute as heck. And when I saw them, I wanted to make sure I got them because these will be fun for a summer project. Look at these little baby whales. Ugh, look how cute they are. Aren't they adorable? So I don't know how to make him. I hope you guys can see him okay. Then I'm rolling around in my hand. Aren't they cute? Look at that, they're little whales. I absolutely love these so much. My hands are blue, I forgot. I've been painting cups. <laughs> So I've got little baby whales, and they are so cute. They're gonna be fun to use. I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure what I'm gonna use them for, but they are going to have a purpose. So yay. I love finding beads and um, think charms and things that are different, because they are always a, such a nice surprise when you find them on your little dangle or something like that. So. Anyways, okay, so that is the end of my hauls for the, for now. And I just wanna thank you all again. I wanna welcome all my new subscribers. You guys are amazing. And I wanna wish you all a very, 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 very happy 2022. Wishing you all the best. I will be seeing you in the next video. Thank you, bye-bye.